The Theodore Roosevelt Federal Building, headquarters of the Office of Personnel Management, in Washington on June 5, 2015. Andrew Harr Bloomberg News, question, is it true that, when the government has a layoff, younger employees always lose their jobs first? Answer, when cutting jobs, agencies typically first eliminate positions that are already vacant and try to create more vacancies through early retirement and buyout incentives. If that doesn't meet the need, they must follow a complex process called reduction in force, RIF. The RIF process involves several steps to determine who stays or goes. For most agencies, the first is to give preference to employees with permanent positions over those with time limits, then veterans over non-veterans, then by length of service, with performance ratings used to add time to actual service. The result is that, all else being equal, those with fewer years of federal employment, who typically, but not always, are younger, are the first to go. The exception is the Defense Department, where performance ratings have been the first factor since early 2017, under rules that apply only there. However, the White House recently ordered that the rules be revised government-wide for other agencies to elevate performance over length of service. Exactly how that will be done is yet to be decided.